Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Do not skip this video because I will reveal the technology which I newly adopted for our Japanese koi and other fish. Actually, the circular tank which I'm referring to is working good for us. And in our previous videos, we actually shared with you how to make or fabricate the circular tank. And we were too busy then. And today we are completing the four tanks which I dream about. And we will make some comparison. Which is better, the rectangular or the square tank or the circular tank with a funnel type flooring. <laughs> Literally, I'm preparing this garden for an event. Actually, I would like to make a simple celebration. With the graduation of my two kids, they will graduate from college and one will graduate from high school. And I'm so happy about this. That's why we are, you know, making a double time in preparing all these things. At the back portion of this, we can see the circular tanks that I'm talking about. And it's giving us a very good view of our Japanese koi. And also, I'm so glad that the Japanese koi that we have placed in the circular tank are growing fast and they are on their A1 condition. They don't have issues about their health. This is the kind of system that I'm going to adopt. And please come on, please be with me. We're gonna be, we're gonna be telling you the secrets. I don't know if this is still a secret because many other people have already adopted this kind of system. You will see here that our Japanese koi are thriving. You see this one? And I will feed them with this uh, floating flakes so that they will appear at the surface. And by the way, I did not put the air pump because this is my time or my schedule to drain some of the sediments that are settled down there. And I would like them to gasp for breath because if we will put air pump, they will stay at the bottom. But if we will not put air pump, normally they will surface at the top of the tank. So you'll see that they're eating and this is a good signal to us that this Japanese koi have no issues about their health. Meaning that they are so healthy that we can assume that it's attributed to the water condition of this tank. I also have doubts whether we can safely open this pipe or the drain plug and at the same time protect our fish. But I'm quite confident that if we will not put the air pump right there inside, they will surface and we will give them the floating pellet. So we will make an experiment now. We will open this gate bulb and then we will see if there will be fish that will be coming out from the pond. I just hope that it will not happen. But the possibility that that will happen is also high. So. We will make an experiment. I will open the gate bulb and we will see what will happen. Ah, it's quite heavy. So the sediments are actually smelling not good already. So we will do this for a couple of seconds and then we will close. So it's 100% effective. You see, no fish had come out. So meaning that all of the fish are already at the bottom because we did not put the air pump. So allow me to make a short demonstration about what I am talking. This is the hose connected to the air pump. And if I'm gonna put this inside, of course that will produce bubbles. And 
will provide oxygen. And you look at what happened, they're going down because the oxygen level is already very high. So you will see that they are starting to go down. So this process is effective even if we don't provide the floor drain or the guard to protect our fish. You just remove or lift this one, they will surface and you can already safely open the gate bulb and remove all the dirt. Aside from the circular tank, of course, we still can use the rectangular tank, of course, is quite expensive when it comes to electric consumption because you always need the filtration bucket and then, of course, you need also the submersible pump in order to run the filtration system. And this is what happened to this tank. Actually, I provided always with this filtration system, I used this bucket of recycled materials. And I put some stones inside in this uh, bucket, and then even nets and this fabric materials that we can also utilize as our filter media. And you will see here that this is loaded with Japanese koi. And today, we're gonna be lifting the fishes right here so that we can transfer this in the more bigger and deeper tank and then we will start again with our breeding. This is my breeding tank. The dimension of this is just 2 meters by 10 meters and it's very shallow. And we used to breed right here our Japanese koi. And this is a very significant tank for me because this is one of the oldest tanks that I ever made since I started with this kind of business. So this tank is filled now with Japanese koi, the baby koi. You will see also that we really tried an effort cleaning our filter buckets. And we used the stones, we cleaned the fibers. And we used the submersible pump in order to lift the water up going to the bucket and then the water will flow back already filtered and clean and this is good because we are actually not able to collect all the dirt or the sediments because this is rectangular and this is what i would like to tell you that if you haven't yet prepared a tank for your goldfish koi tilapia or even this catfish i would like to suggest that you will make the circular tank with a funnel type flooring so that we will have an easy way draining all the dirt that are settled 
at the bottom of your tank. It, it will make your fish really, really very good. Between the circular tank and this rectangular tank, I would like to say with confidence that the circular tank is better because of the fact that we can easily clean the tank with the dirt. We can just easily blow out these toxic elements that are not good for our fish. In a circular tank, we don't anymore need this kind of system, this filtration system, because you can regularly make the water condition good by just draining or opening the gate bulb. And maintaining this kind of system is quite expensive. But in a circular tank, I think you can minimize the consumption of your electricity. And in a circular tank, I believe that your fish will really grow very fast because the digestive system will work if the water condition is also good. So these are all the things that we can share with you guys. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And if it is your first time to stumble upon this channel, I would like to ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos and revealing secrets, the best practices, and even the bad practices that we had experienced in order for us to learn together in so far as this business is concerned. I would like to see you in my next video. Only here at Dexter's World. 